Emily's in. Welcome back to Fresh Fishing. In this week's vlog, we head back over to Tees Valley Lakes. And we were jumping on Alpha, home of the 30s. Keep watching to find out how we got on. Enjoy. I told you it's not nice mate, I told you it's cold. Right, so, Alpha. Alpha, we're here. Peg one. Yep. You're in peg one, I'm in peg two. Uh-huh. I've told you, you've got to wait to set up. Because I've got a present for you. So yeah, you did. Hold this. What? You need suspense. What have you got? What's that? Hey, look at that. Get in. Where'd you get that from? You got these ones. The guy, um, I forgot, oh, I forgot his name now. Uh, out of the box bobbins, hooked us up with these bad boys. Did he? Oh, Free of charge. Nice. So if you're in need of some bobbins, I think he cust does any like customizable bobbins. You can get Lego thingies on your bobbins, whatever. Forty teams. Out of the box bobbins. Check them out. But yeah, they're for you, son. Wait, I'm not. Be oh. oh, oh my god, my bad. Out, Mate, I'm not being funny, but if I'd have known about out of the box bobbins beforehand, you would have got these already. Yeah, nice one. Hopefully, Decent, eh? hopefully they'll be a good luck charm for us. Hopefully, well for you anyway. We're on we're on uh, we're at Tees Valley. I so. know oh, I don't I don't catch fish here. <laughs> let's right. change that. Let's change. Right, let's get set up. Let's get set up. Right, we're all set up and ready to go in. Pretty sure Wayne's got something new to show, so let's go and have a look. Hey, hey. Look at this. Just playing with the new bivvy, aren't I? Play with your new like toy. My, yeah, do you like my new home? This looks, looks good, mate. It is really nice, actually. Obviously, the first time we're first time I'm using it on this session. Wait there. Does this mean we're doing pick my bivy already? Let's do it. Let's do it. So you wanna be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You gotta hit us up to get a pimped out bivy. Bivy. So I treat treated myself. Um, trap myself, treated Tra myself. Yeah, I don't know what it is, treated or trap. Um, obviously, I've been toying on the idea of getting a new baby for a long time, and I did kind of settle on the idea of going the Fox Frontier. Um, but obviously, it is quite an expensive piece of kit, the Fox Frontier. The new one comes in at like 800 quid or something, doesn't it? Yeah. So, um, Foxy done a bit of shopping around and come across this this brand quest tackle well what it was is my mate dave was it dave dave who basically said about them and then i'd look so like obviously you want something that's good you want something that's going to be uh long lasting keep you warm in the, in the winter you know, i suppose keep the sun out in the summer as well um and you can get kind of all of that with with this. It's a really, you know, the, the material is all really, really good quality stuff. Um, that, that ground sheet, would you say is kind of like on par with the Nash? Yeah, I would say it's. 
in terms of the quality of material. Pretty thick, like. It is, isn't it? It's like yeah. really, really heavy duty. Um, and, Can we uh, see it? Come on, get, get yourself in there, pop yourself in. <sighs> so, um, so you got a couple of windows at the back. It's worth saying as well, we are going to do a proper review video on this. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, it's all like really good quality stuff. Um, and it, you're not paying the same sort of prices as what you'd pay with like Nash, Fox and, and all those bigger fishing brands. Yeah. Um, but you're still getting the quality with this. Um, it's so nice, the ground sheet zips in and stuff, doesn't it? Ground sheet zips in, um, so you're in like your little cocoon. It's got like the three, the three, uh, sorry, the, the four front. windows with the mozzie mesh. Um, obviously, you've got the door um, that's meshed out as well. You can actually change the panel on that as well, so you can and just have it as a clear window. Uh, vapor sheet inside, like like the Titans got. Yeah, and it's got obviously the skull cap up there. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, we we got in touch with the guys over at Quest and um, told them that we're going to do a review video on it. So ask for a discount, see what they could do. If you don't ask, you don't get. Exactly. So, and yeah, he was he was top top man. Um, Looks like a nice piece of kit, mate. It's a it's a really good size as well, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's a lot. That's the other thing as well. It, obviously, I've got the Titan hide. This is a lot taller, isn't it? Mm. Like if Wayne stands up next to it, it's like literally not. I'm far just up. short though, aren't I? <laughs> You're not that short. <laughs> but but yeah. it is like literally the similar height to you, isn't it? Yeah. You're so, just a bit taller than it, so. Obviously, I've needed a new bivvy for a while, and. This is it. This Voila. is it. So, pimp my bivvy. Just got bivvied. It's been pimped fully. Yeah. New yeah. home. Nice. Uh, I'm buzzing with it. First like night it. tonight. Let's let's see how it um how it, fares. how it does me. But I'm pretty impressed already. Yeah. Like, I just love the zipping ground sheet. It's nice. Um, like, even this bit here. So you, like obviously got the door here. You are. And I, how you, this bit you completely like. Yeah, you, you do have storm poles that go in here kind of push it up a bit, tie it up, but you don't necessarily need them. I've, I've chosen not to use them. Nice little session. doorway. Yeah, obviously the ground sheet comes out, creates a little walkway for you. Banging, mate. I'm buzzing with it. Banging. I'm buzzing with it. I think it's going to be um, money well spent for sure. I what? think so too, mate. Ah. I think so too. So, yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm pimped, mate. I'm well and truly pimped. That is that is a good and a big pimp for you, so exactly. fair play. Exactly. See, okay. I don't do it that often, but when I do do it, yeah, you know what I mean. Bed next, is it? Bed next. Just getting prepped for France in, in October. Yeah, we're, we're going to be stopping on the beds for like, and in the. Obviously, bivvies, yeah, we're going to be on the bank rather than in our little chalet like we had last time. Seven nights. So we need yeah. to make sure we're comfy, don't we? The bed is next. Yeah. And, nice. we're looking, and we're, we are the Nash indulgences on the list, but even that's expensive. Yeah. I that's... wish Quest done a bed. Yeah, they don't do memory they? foam. I'll tell you what they do the do. I might talk to them about. They do a um, rod pod that looks pretty good. Hello. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks like Quest is up and coming brand. I don't know how long they've been around for. We didn't really have that conversation. No. But check it out, guys. It looks good value for they've money. Got like thirty odd thousand likes on Facebook. I think. Have they? So I said it's pretty big. Been around for a little while. Yeah. But it's all just like you can't order through tackle shops. It's just direct through them on a the site. Mm. So, so what do you call? You know, like the way it opens out, like same it's as like yours. Spider, isn't it? Is like that what it's called? Spider, a spider system or whatever. Yeah, like spider legs, isn't it? Yeah. So obviously, I've been jealous of the fact that Foxy puts his bivvy up so quickly. Yeah. So I wanted to jump on that as well. So you do the same. Easy. Same with this. Um, and to be fair, it was the first time I put it up, wasn't it? Today, it wasn't that difficult for me, was one, it? One. Yeah, one go and it was up, wasn't it? Like, so, so nice, well done, mate. Buzzing, mate. Well done. I'm, I'm literally living in style on the bank now. You are. I felt like I was living with the rats before, but I've got. A, <laughs> I've got You've a, gone rags to riches. Yeah, I've got a little soft spot for my sabre though. Yeah, no, it's nice. And I'm gonna keep it. I think you should because if I do like nights and that with the kids. Yeah, you can. I'll let I'll let the kids have this one. All right. And then I'll just jump in. Oh, I like, no, I like Give them the crap one. I like roughing it. I don't mind. Do you? Oh, yeah. fair enough. I don't mind. Fair enough. Yeah. So, you got anything? I might have. Have you? You know what I'm like. I know. You don't stop. Should right. we have a look? Let's go. You're mad, blood. You're mad. So, right. So, go on then. What, what did you get? Um, what did you get? It looks the same old, same old to me. Your bivvy does look so tackle-tarty, though. Why? 
I don't know. It's just all camo and that everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> camo everywhere. <laughs> Literally is, isn't it? So what'd you get? I got. They hopefully will catch me a fish today. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go on then. Some new rods. Some new rods. What? What, have, what made you want to get new rods? Because I'm a tackle tar. The Nash Dwarf 10 footers. Yeah, 10 footers. I didn't really. I don't really have a reason. Just <laughs> why not? Fair. What, I wanted to upgrade. I like that these they they like pack down quite nice and small. So, mm. Mm. so yeah. Oh, nice. And how much were they? Seventy a pop, but obviously BAC. Oh, you a got bit of from Dissy. In the Yeah. So yeah. Did you a little squeeze? Not cheap, yeah. Still not cheap though. But and you still got your other ten footers? Still got my other ten footers. If anyone wants to buy them, I might buy them. I'll tell you what, I have got as well. What? Oh, you got a new rod bag? Yeah. Look, look, camo again. It matches my bag. And your bed and your bivvy. No, but yeah, <laughs> but this is actually the same brand. Oh, it. the solar one. Yeah, so it's the same camo. Oh, See the bag. Oh. Dead sexy. Dead. So it's nice. That does look nice, that one. It's a good How little hole. Uh, 50 quid. Which yeah. is alright, isn't it? See, that's solar. It's not like. It's not ridiculous expensive. Yeah, but, but it's not cheap either. No, nah, it's like yeah. middle, but it looks like all the stuff's good, isn't it? Yeah. Like that bag was 80, this was 50. So. You are so camera up. So that's, uh, yeah. Do you know one thing we forgot to do around mine? What? We can do it after, but we can show it here. What? Because I still think it's part of Pit My Bivvy. What? Ah, oh, but we've spoken about it already. What? Spit it out. The bobbins. Oh, Look at these bobbin. bad boy in action. Yes. Leech, leech, leech. Hey, that's gone up a bit, that one. Hey, up. Hey, up. That's gone up a bit, <laughs> that bobbin. To up, I is it? touching floor before this. Yeah. It's gone to up. Aye. Yeah, the Leeds ones, they look smart. I like them. They look cool, don't they? Yeah, let's see how they fare when Hope. it starts raining. Yeah, that, that's if the it rains. Thing. Right. So that's it. What we're going to do next, we're going to do uh, bots in a bit. Yeah, we'll do a bots in a bit. I need to go get a table. Sounds good. Cool. Looks like it's starting to get ear weather. It does, doesn't it? Sun's out a bit. This is, the, this is the swim for the sun. Yeah. We'll get the table. Right. Peace out. Bots, mate. Bots. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Welcome to. Welcome to Bots. Beer of the session. Yes. Who um? It's really needed this as well. Who who was it that suggested this one? I will let this you. was quite a recent suggestion. I, me I remember it coming in. Jimmy Trucker. Jimmy Trucks. Jimmy Trucker. Nice thank, one, Jimmy Trucker. Thank you very much for the suggestion. Well, the reason we actually went for it is just because I like the name. Yeah. Hazy Jane. So it's a cool name, and um, and we knew it was quite easy to get. Yeah, it was obviously a Tesco little Tesco jobby. job. Yeah, I think one pound. I think they were like one pound seventy for. for oh, like, each just buy singles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's all right. Yeah, it's one pound seventy. Um, it's a brew dog, five percent. Where are these bad boys from, Foxy? That's normally your. I think they're Scotland brew dog. Are they? I think so. Yeah. Brewed in Elon. Where's that? Sounds Scottish to me. Have you done your research? I think they're Scottish. Because Brewdog are quite a famous company because of their marketing and stuff. And they've obviously, they were like one of the first to do like craft What does that mean? Two pants? Means, yeah. I thought you, I <laughs> means you're going to get two sets of pants off later after you've had a few of them. <laughs> oh, there's, there's loads of Chinese writing on it though. Nah, it's Scottish. Sure. Do you want me to check? Nah. Alright. <laughs> Let's go in. It's not a lager, is it? No, you tell Oh, no, it's a beer. It's a craft beer. United we stand for better beer, fiercely defiant and independent. You might not like this one. Really? Just judging off the smell. I actually like the smell. Oh, do you? Yeah. It's an IPA, I is do. what it is. I do. But I'm turning into a right northerner now, aren't I? You are too. I'm a proper beer drinker. I've got a good beer for you to try later. We're not going to do it on Boxer. Cheers. 
Cheers, mate. <laughs> it doesn't. I feel like it can't really like. It's weird. It's really smooth. That first swing was really like tangy as hell. Tangy. The second one went as bad. I don't know what to make of it's it. It's got a little kick of something that's weird. I really don't know what to make of it. I couldn't. I can neck loads of these. I don't even think I could finish this one. I'm not sure if I like it or dislike it. Really? What's in it? I feel a bit like... Mm. No, I definitely dislike it. You don't like it? No. No, not for me. Sorry. Is it for you? You don't know, do you? I really I can't... Can't decide, but based on the fact that I can't really decide, I'm gonna go five. Really, I was thinking of three. Were you? Yeah. Jimmy Trucker, you've let us down. Jimmy Truck. Oh well, it's good to get these ones out of the way, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I definitely won't have another one in my life. <laughs> in my life, <laughs> never again. Unless, obviously, you know, like, if it's the only beer that you've got to choose from. Mm. It's like, all right, then, go on in. I don't know. I'm drinking more of it, like. Mate, I am so pasty. <laughs> you little goth. It's the first time these arms have seen How much slip not you've been listening to? I know, yeah. Yeah, now, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking a bit more of it. No. No. I might even go two. Really? Downgrade, isn't I'm it? downgraded after another sip. I would stick with a three, but that's definitely not for me. Right, okay. Let's keep it rolling. I'm going to get you another beer and we're going to do a live. One. We actually are going to do a live box later. But I've got another one that you might like. Well then. It's not, some, not something, a beer that people have suggested, but it's one that I've tried and it's probably my new favourite beer. Really? Yeah. Do you think I like it? I think you will. What biscuits you got there? Custard creams. You know. I've got some chocolate. Chocolate digestives. Actually, you've had this with me. Have I? When we went, we went to the pub together. We've never been to the pub together. We have. We went to my local. Okay. Madri. So are we, are we are we doing a double box? We're doing a dual box. <laughs> <laughs> so Madri is the beer of Madrid. So similar to Estrella, which is Barcelona. Got a handsome Spanish man on the front. Yeah, he looks sexy, doesn't he? Yeah, it looks like Cantona. It does a bit. Um, what percent are we talking? 4.6. 4.6, yeah. Premium lager. And I know, I, I'm... Pretty much going to tell you I'm giving it a ten before Cervetza, we start. Cervetza exceptional. It is exceptional to be fair. Let's go. Cheers, boyo. Cheers. Oh, that's better. Much better. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's washing away the horrible taste in my mouth. That is a good. I like beer. that. That is so smooth. It's really? one of those like smooth, crisp, pure. Yeah, exactly. Silky, very silky. Oh. I don't tend to. People might find this a like bit that. shocking, but I don't tend to really drink beer at home. What do you drink at home? Just juice and stuff like that. Like I'd, I, I can have beers in the fridge and not drink them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I bought these recently, and I've been and having been like a few a night. Yeah. Oh. God There's, help you when the summer comes. I know. It's going to be full of madness. They've, they've got them on uh, on offer at Morrison's at the minute. You can get, I think it's two, two crates of twelve for twenty quid, which is decent. It's not really anything to complain about with this beer. It's lovely. I think it could be better. Why? Wow. But there's nothing to complain because there's there's not an awful lot to it. You know, like. <laughs> you look angry. 
Why do you look angry? Because it's I, I really rate it. <coughs> I'd, I'd put this on a size level. This is what I'm saying. So I think the size is a little bit better. What there was another one that we had that I really liked. The German one. No, it might have been at uh, Old Mill. Oh, the fruity one, Ho Garden. Yeah. See, like they're they're up there for me. This I'd probably go like a uh, an eight. Right. Okay. Well, I'm obviously going to go 10 because I've literally just said it's my new favourite beer. You're going so. a 10? Yeah. Proper 10? I, I, this is even better on tap. Mm. On tap, it's Everything's it's, better on tap. Yeah, it is. But, yeah, I think it's cracking. Right, well. That was a bot. Two beers for bots. Brewdog, Hazy Jane, got a three from me. Five, five from me. Madly Exceptional, eight. And a 10. Cheers, mate. Salute. Now let's hopefully catch some fish. Just having a little bit of chill time by ourselves. Brew on the go for me. Wayne enjoying his new bivy, I'd imagine. Come on, the fish. Come on. You know you wanna. <sighs> well, leads one. So, that's one thing. No fish yet, but. Let's go see what Waz is doing. Shit, Bivy. <laughs> <laughs> right, Treacle. How you doing? I'm alright, you? Yeah. yeah. How are Arsenal doing? I think they lost 2 1. <laughs> <laughs> For once, I can be smug about something because Leeds won. <laughs> <laughs> Leeds are still rubbish, anyway. Better than Arsenal today, though. Better than Arsenal today? Well, I guess so. Where are you putting it? I'm just going to try and like, line it up with the uh, the marker. You ready? I'm ready. Right, welcome to Cookery Corner. We're doing it on the move this time. We're not sitting down. We haven't got the tripod up. We're out and about. We're out and about. We're, I feel like... Um, you know, like one of those um, cookery shows when they're like in a in a location. Yeah. Look, and I'm we're opening just, and we're infused just... olive oil. Get in. There's the kitchen. So, Foxy, what is on the menu? On the menu today <clears throat> is teriyaki chicken stir fry. Nice, nice. Sounds good. However, I've seen the ingredients. He doesn't like veg. There's loads of veg. There's not loads of veg. There's, There's onions, mange two, and baby sweet. Mange two. So, right. let's have a little butchers. And it went with cooked chicken breast, which I've already cut up. Diced onions, some bean sprouts. Some diced onions, some bean sprouts. There's our egg noodles. Yeah. And then yeah. Wagamama teriyaki flavouring. So we've got some water boiling up for the noodles. Yeah. We've got the pan warming. Well, not not yet. It's just about to be. A bit of olive oil in there, ready. Let's and then we're going. We're going to whack it all together. Let's do it. Should be a good job. What do you think? No, go on, go free. Go free in. Those look 
really good. Go on, chef. It's hurt my back. It's a bit too low. Well done, chef. We got the finished article. This is it. Oh. Go on, pick me up. Looks good though. Some teriyaki noodles. There's a lot. Yeah, why is that when? There's a lot of noodles. Why, why Why is that? You're the chef, you tell me. Because someone wanted more noodles. Because <laughs> <laughs> someone wanted more noodles. Looks good. Look, we've got enough for uh, another Seconds. plate here. Someone want. Anyone for some noodles? Anyone Should we just leave that in the pan for now? Noodles? Nah. Leave that in the pan for now? Yeah, go on, because knowing you, you, I'll go back for you seconds. want afters, yeah. Seconds. Nice. All knocked up in what? 15 minutes? Less than 15 minutes. I'd say so. Let's dig in. Let's. So obviously I'm not one for the veg and that. The only thing that screams out like to me on this plate as in like uh is the you just going straight in. Mm. Is the corn and these pea what are they? Manage two in it. Manage two is or that whatever. What they're called? Yeah. But I'm gonna give it a go. It's not that I dislike it. It's just it's like What's so special about it? Not your cookery corner, I'm just talking about the corn bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Oh, I know. It is nice. Oh, really nice. Mm. A bit of chicken. Have you cooked this before at home? No. No? No. But let's be honest, it's just like it's quite easy in a stir fry. Especially when you're using like a packet like that. Yeah, but, but for on the bank, it looks like you made a lot of effort with it though. Spot on. Even though it's just frying stuff in a pan. Mm. Thanks, mate. No problem. What sort of chicken was it? It was just like ready cooked. What like flavoured though? I think so. It must have had something on the outside. I can taste it. It's nice. Yeah, we went from uh, almost getting a takeaway to this. So Foxy messaged me and he said, "Oh, what should we do? Should we get a takeaway at Cookery Corner?" I was just like, "Well, it's up to you, isn't it? I'm not bothered." And then yeah, I and decided. Then you just decided to just go Cookery Corner. Yeah. How come? It was my turn, wasn't it? You so feel, you feel bad. Mm. My turn, so I thought I better do it. I'm glad I did now. I'm glad you did as well. I prefer this than, um, you know, like, what we had here before, the cl cluckoos or something. Yeah. Um, like, it's, it's all right. It's good. Yeah, it's not bad. But I prefer, like, a home-cooked meal. Yeah. Healthier as well, isn't it? I say home-cooked, bank-cooked meal. A bank-cooked meal. That was Cookery Corner. I think a, a successful Cookery Corner. Yeah, well. I think it's a good one. I mean, you can you can vary you can vary it quite a bit, can't you? If you do um, stir fry again with like different flavors and stuff as well. Taste what, what are these called again? Mon Monge two. Monge two. Uh huh. See, it's not like I dislike it. I don't dislike it. You just think what's the point? I just don't like. You I don't eat, like I, it. I eat stuff I like. Yeah. Yeah, the chicken is nice, isn't it? I don't know what flavour it is. Right. On that note, we'll see you in a bit when one of us has got fish on the back.
Do you? Yeah, after that um, cookery corner. Doesn't want a cookery feels full up. Loads of uh, loads of noodles. Carbs on carbs. Carbs for marbs. Okay. It was nice though. It was good. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> yeah, the, the light is really, really bright <laughs> on the camera. Um, but yeah, this is a night message. We're about to uh, hit, hit our bivvies. Hit the hay. Yeah, obviously it's yeah, getting pretty dark now. Yeah. So nothing happening on, on the uh, fishing front as nope. yet. Nope. So And on the other end, but there has been quite a few captures. They seem to have stopped as well, don't they? Yeah, the whole lake's gone dead since... Uh, since since we turned up. <laughs> yeah, since we turned up. That's right. <laughs> That's true, actually. Um, we're not really... Um, expecting much through the night but obviously fingers crossed as always um, yeah no we're not yeah, confident I think, I, I think we both are kind of agreeing that probably the morning time maybe sort of might be lunch the best time chance. is probably going to be the best time that we're going to catch yeah so fingers crossed for that um, yeah we might get a good night's sleep probably will probably Hopefully not but yeah let's see we'll see fingers crossed what are you going to do now probably just stick a daft movie on as, as per usual what about you usual. i'll probably just flip through the old sky go and see what takes my fancy yeah yeah well enjoy and we've got walkie talkies tonight so we've got walkie talkies tonight <laughs> we'll have a bit of fun with them <laughs> i'm touching his ass i'm touching his ass <laughs> right night peeps night some habits and tentative facts no i want to get revved up and this song's not doing it oh really i defy you to crush this course and not get psyched not guess the happen. film don't you think morning a very cold morning it is it's about half seven ish i'm gonna sit watch the water see if i see any signs of carp and uh move my rigs if i do i think any boys still asleep obviously nothing during the night so we'll just have to see what today brings but time for a brew and a chill in the sun After Foxy, after Foxy, do you copy? Oh, I copy all right. Oh, you copy all right. How long have you been awake for? Since seven. Mate, I've been awake since about half five. Why? Just woke up. I woke up like a bit cold and like, I just, yeah, I was just chilling watching TV and that. Just been awake. Couldn't get back to sleep. Uh, fair dues. I'm literally sat in front of my rods to have a cup of tea just watching the water all oh, right got my door open and um, just looking out laid in bed still just uh yeah just chilling it's frosty out there isn't it it is but mate my pegs literally just got all the sun because it's you know we thought it was rising from like behind peg four and five but it's not it literally it's from like the side of my peg nice so what you stood in the sun yeah yeah i'm literally just sat in the sun Nice. Well, um, all right, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. And I said, okay, no bother. <laughs> Just reset one of the rods, so. Not seeing anything, but just thought I'd try and reset it, so. Haven't seen any signs, but. <laughs> Let's go and pay uh, when your boy visit, see if he's jerking the gherkin. You've been back to sleep? Yeah. Oh, we had a conversation on the walkie talkie this morning, I thought he was awake. Yeah, I, I actually filmed that conversation. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now I've just gone back to sleep. Oh, do you want me to leave you? I didn't realise. Uh, if you want to sleep some more, I'm just too cold to get out of bed, mate. You want to come to my 
uh, Peg, it's like crap. Is it? Swear down. It's actually really nice. I've just been sat having a cup of tea in it. Alright. It's just when you're ready, mate. I just thought I'd come pay a little visit and see your bivy palace. <laughs> nice little bit of condensation. What's it like inside for condensation? There's no, is there? No, but I've been awake. Well, obviously, like. I had the heat and stuff on. It was like a little bit. It, well, it wasn't condensation. It was a bit like frosted. My mine's pissed wet through this morning because yeah. it frosted over, and then obviously the sun gets it first thing, so it melted. Right. So I was getting like drips on my sleeping bag. But good thing is my sleeping bag's got that waterproof yeah. layer on it, so it just wipes off. Yeah, which is decent. Yeah, it was a bit frosted, but no beeps. Zilch. Nothing. Literally no. nothing. Mate, I didn't even get my head torch out of the um, case. Really? I just had it on the side in the case. Went to sleep. Yeah, I, I had mine on. Yeah. And then I think my strap must have broken the night. <laughs> I had it on my head. Uh, well, at least we're trying. We've still got the day today. Yeah, now, see, like, now is when I'm more optimistic than what I was last night. I feel like, you know, we could get a bite this morning. When it's light, yeah. Um, so I was saying to you yesterday, I reckon if I don't catch nothing by, like, two, three o'clock today, chances are I'm probably not going to catch anything. No. That's what I believe. sharing breakfast duty today well we're cooking our own breakfast basically because there's not enough space in the little pans for both of us so I should have put this up in my baby shouldn't I I provided the uh, the sausages and the bagels and we're gonna have a nice sausage bagel aren't we Foxy yeah your accident your accidentally planned breakfast yeah I forgot to buy breakfast, but actually I did buy breakfast. Exactly. <laughs> All right, like. Just trying, you know, I've got some of that uh, concentrated bug um, liquid. Yeah. Just pouring it over the hook bait, see if it has an impact. Extra attraction. Yeah, I've changed the, the left hand rod, so I'm not biting in the middle over here anymore. I'm on the corner of the island. Right. I'm going to put my right hand rod kind of down the side of the reed and then my middle one at the end. Bar. Yeah. <sighs> All quiet on the western front. Not a nibble for any of us yet. Wayne's gone for a sleep. And it's about one o'clock. So. <sighs> we'll keep trying. Still absolutely nothing. No sign of Wayne either. He must be sleeping. Even I've had a snooze. This is not happening, is it? Staying for another few hours, but. Keep trying and. That's all we can do, really. I've just got the collies in. Which one was that? Little. Get I was in. laid there dreaming, mate. You're never going to believe this. I was laid there dreaming that my, my alarms were going. And, and, I, and, it, and it woke up with my alarms going. <laughs> I woke up and they were, yeah. What's the time? About oh, three o'clock. This could be a PB. Can we get on that? How's my barn look? I just threw me out. 
It looks pretty messy, like, but are you bothered? No. It's on this bug? Yeah. What did you do? Did you grab your rod first and then walk it talk to me? Yeah. I shouted actually. I was like, Foxy. And then like didn't hear nothing, so I just yeah, I went. Is you awake or asleep? I had a snooze but I was awake just now. Oh, I'm uh I thought it'd come off there. Luckily, like five minutes ago I just changed the battery on this. Oh really? Because I knew it only had like one bar left, and I thought, just in case one of us gets in, and it went off mid, mid filming. Watch it not even be a PP. <laughs> Who cares, mate? I oh, know, it's true. It's given a good fight, like. It is, to be fair. <laughs> it's just good to see a fish on the end of a line. Yeah. <laughs> true, though. No, it is true. We always say it, though. Especially the end of one of our lines. Nice. Nice, mate. Could be a 30, you know. Scale, son. Yeah. Yeah, the truth. There you go. Thirty-two. Thirty-two, isn't it? Is that a PB? It's Thirty-two. Yeah. Is someone getting wet? Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. The size of it. You know, like we've we've caught thirties and that before. Well, he's had a fifty, but when you just look at it in the flesh, it's like it's just still like in awe of it. You can see straight away it's thirty all day long. Yeah, I said it, didn't I? Yeah. So I think that's. It feel good, like. When you... Yeah. Well, well, well. My first tease Valley thirty. Would you believe it? Absolutely buzzing with this. I can't even believe it's happened to be honest with you. What size are we talking? 32, wasn't it? 32 pounds on the nose, wasn't it? Yeah. And with that in mind, it's a new <laughs> British PB. British PB. No. <laughs> it's too cold, mate. That, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I ducked it. <laughs> I ducked it. <laughs> Would Get you in there, look mate. At look that. at that. Let me come uh, on. Take a picture. Wait there, I need to go on portrait mode. Go on then. Look at the size of that thing. See you, mate. I wonder if that was a named one. It will be if it's a well. The, uh, we want to be 18, yeah. I'm saying that unless it was a. Uh... Still nothing doing in uh, peg. Peg two. 
packed on started. Bivvy's away. Last chance alone. We know how that goes for me though. Here's your boy. We're getting ready to go. Smiling like a Cheshire cat. I'm not, did you hear the screams a minute ago? One of them over there sounds like they had one. Or oh, a lost one, something, yeah. No, it sounded like a cheer. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear that. Just, if you, just as you left my uh, bivvy. Oh, right. Session over. Let's go see Wayne do a little outro. How carpy is that? Look at him. Hey, me. Super carpy. Super carpy, no alarms. Super Just waiting to hear for the. What we're saying then was. Yeah, the, when you hear the real scream on. Yeah. Well, I can only say that it's been a success, in all honesty. Great success. It's been a success. Yeah, nah. I mean, obviously, like, it, we always want to both catch, but if one of us does, then yeah, mate. we're always aiming to get a fish on the, on on, the, channel. On the channel. So, 100%. I'm, obviously, I'm buzzing. I broke a PB. So, yeah, it's been a long time coming as well, that PB. How long has it been? Well, when was it? It's got to be got about it? a year and a half ago. I mean, you matched it at Wayne Stones. I matched it at Wayne Stones. So, that's a year ago, literally. So you are talking like yeah, yeah, a year, year and a half. So English PBs are talking because obviously PBs. France. But um, I, I'm buzzing for you, like I said. Obviously, me and me and Tees Valley just don't get along. I know it's weird, isn't it? But my love affair with it just keeps, keeps on. going on. Yeah, yeah, it just continues. It's so just one of them things, isn't it? I know it'll I'm come good eventually. I'm sure, like there's there's probably loads of subscribers out there that has venues where they just feel lucky. They feel like they can rely on it, and just Tees Valley's that venue for me. Yeah. Obviously, it isn't for you, but no. it's a strange one as well because, like, a lot of the time we do everything so similar. Yeah, it's been on the fish as well, though, isn't it? Like, obviously, the back of this, like, a lot of fish were caught in, in yeah. peg four, and peg one goes up the back of it. So, I'm literally just sitting on the back of peg four swim where well, so. we know there's a lot of fish holding up. So. Yeah, and obviously, he's had a field day over the last couple of days. So, actually, we need to give Paul's son a shout out. So, yeah, so just a quick shout out to Harry Blythe. Obviously, we've been fishing with Paul this weekend, so you right, Harry. A little shout out, mate. Thanks for watching the channel. Yeah, and, um, obviously, we've just been trying to keep up with your dad. Yeah, he's been beasting us. He's been killing us. it, hasn't he? Yeah. But I don't think he had a 32 on his session. No, I don't think he had a 30, to be honest. So, <laughs> And I think I've got a shout out to another person, actually. Um, shout out to Kane as well. Um, I think you came and picked up some, you bought my quiver tip rod bag. Oh, okay. Came in the car, his dad came and picked it up, and then as he drove away, he texted, he messaged me saying, oh, I just realised who it was. So oh, shout really? out to you, mate. Yeah, and oh. shout out to you and your mates because he said that they watched the channel. So Nice one. Cheers nice for watching, one. boys. Uh, by the way, um, <clears throat> obviously, we rarely kind of talk about what we catch the fish on and stuff. Um, I was just keeping it simple. That was a DNA bug wafter um, with uh, Mega Method feeder. And pellet, yeah. And pellet. Simple. That's kind of the, the trusty. That's what we always go to. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the lot. For now, isn't it? For now, yeah, we're gonna um, get these rods in, get home. I need a, a shower. Yeah, I need to get home because my missus is messaging me saying my, my son's crying, like asking for daddy. So yeah, I need to get <laughs> home and see him. So so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, obviously, if you if you did, click that like button. Um, if you don't subscribe, click that subscribe button as well. Um, and the alert bell. Don't forget the, and alert, the alert bell, bell and that alert to get bell. notifications. Yeah, you want to know when we go live and stuff. Yeah, 100%. Um, so, yeah, until next time. Nice Peace one. out.